The Queen appeared in excellent spirits as she joined daughter-in-law Sophie Wessex for church on Sunday morning. The monarch, 92, and the Countess of Wessex, 53, shared a car as they made their way to St. Mary Magdalene Church on the Sandringham Estate, Norfolk. The Queen donned a festive feathered hat for the outing, which she paired with a red and grey tweed coat. Meanwhile Prince Edward Sophie, who enjoys a close relationship with her mother-in-law, opted for a brown hat and coat, worn over a green dress. Prince Edward and their daughter, Lady Louise Windsor, were among those also attending church today. The Queen is said to host Sophie, her husband Edward and other senior members of the royal family for Christmas on the royal estate on Tuesday. The regimented schedule begins on Christmas Eve when the royal clan arrive at Sandringham in order of seniority, with Charles and Camilla the last to appear, mid-afternoon. The Queen heads to Sandringham each winter, arriving before Christmas and staying until early February. This prevents the chaos of everyone pitching up at the same time and limits pressure on staff. Despite the scale of the event, the Queen is keen that as many staff as possible enjoy Christmas with their own families, and has a scaled-down retinue. On arrival, the royals are shown to their rooms. There are thought to be 29 bedrooms in the house, including some for staff. Each of the Queen's children have their own room. Her grandchildren are all treated equally. Those likely to have servants' rooms include the Queen's nephew, the Earl of Snowdon, his wife Serena and their children. His sister Lady Sarah Chatto, her husband Daniel and two children are also likely to be included. The family follow the German tradition of opening presents on Christmas Eve. Small jokey gifts are preferred. Harry was once given the Grow Your Own Girlfriend kit from Kate, while he is said to have given his grandmother a shower cap. The royals traditionally attend the Church of St. Mary Magdalene for the Christmas Day service, greeting well-wishers who have turned out to see them, before heading home for luncheon to watch the monarch's Christmas speech. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge also have a home on the Sandringham Estate, their ten-bedroom country mansion Enmer Hall. Backslash.